If you turn on the TV, you will travel into a dimension of cameras, computers, and microphones. A dimension of cameramen, editors, and reporters. This dimension is called FLTV. Hi, I'm Riley. And I'm Brooke. And, and this, this is, is FLTV. FLTV. We were able to score an interview with a guest star, Suede Brooks. She's a model and a YouTuber. Let's throw it over to Reese to find out more. People that do things to change the world would be known as role models. We see them all around. I'm Reese, and today I will be asking people what they think about role models, plus one special interview on this topic. How do you think young role models can affect the lives of fellow students? I think young role models can affect the lives of fellow students because they can inspire them to do what they want. I love that we have high school and middle school both on this campus. I do think it is a good idea to have role models like the high schoolers on campus because they can help you. I absolutely think it's a good idea. After hearing these two opinions on this topic, I was wondering if one special role model had inspired them. Terry Walsh, who is a beach volleyball player. Um, you know, it's funny because I think two of my best motivators and role models were actually peers. Since Mrs. Burns and the student agree that having role models at Faith is an amazing idea and they each have been inspired, I want to sway Brooks to see what it is like being a role model and what brought her to this position. How does it feel to be a role model to so many young people? Um, I think it's pretty crazy. Like when I first started off on YouTube and modeling, I never thought any of this would like turn into what it is now. So when I grew up, um, I was severely bullied throughout middle school and YouTube was my only outlet to make me feel better about myself and why I would watch like popular YouTubers and that was like my outlet to basically depression. Um, I think just being yourself and embracing everything that you own or have on your body. Becoming a role model is truly hard work, but there will always be something to get you there. I'm Reese with FLTV. Back to you. Thank you, Reese. And thank you, Suede. You might be able to catch her in the audience afterwards if you get lucky. Did you hear about Cole's new girlfriend? I didn't, you know, but I think they'd be cute together. Gossip can really hurt people. I'm Maddie, and for the past couple of weeks, I've interviewed a teacher, a student, and a counselor about gossip. According to CBC.gov, gossiping allows us to keep track of 150 people in our social circle of friends. That means we can hurt 150 of our friends by gossiping. Have you ever gossiped about anyone before? I think I did, but I don't remember. Uh, why do people gossip? I believe it, it derives uh, primarily from insecurities. Um, they want to tell their friends something to make themselves look bigger by putting someone else down. Well, I think that there's a couple of different reasons. I mean, one, you know, gossip tends to get attention, and so it feels good to be the center of attention. It feels good to know something that nobody else knows and, and have them focused on you and want to tell them something. How do you think we can stop gossiping? Think about it, you can't, uh, but what you have to do is, is reside in truth, and if you know that what's being said is not true, then you cannot worry about it. People are going to say what they say, um, but you just have to know what the truth is about you, your performance, and who you are in Christ, and leave it at that. If someone is talking to you about your friend, do not run and tell your friend what they said, because all that does is hurt feelings and create drama. Um, I think if you're in a position where someone is talking to you about someone else, the best thing you can do is just say, I don't want to talk about them. I like them. That's my friend. Or, or just change the subject or just move on. Um, and I think the second thing is we need to consider, would it bother me if someone said this about me? And if the answer is yes, then you probably shouldn't be saying it. Gossip can really hurt someone, even if it was meant as a joke. So don't gossip, because you don't know how it's going to affect someone. I'm Maddie, signing off. Thanks, Matthew. You're sure in that gossip. Did you know one of our high school teachers, Mr. Stelzer, is a basketball fanatic and has his own YouTube channel and calls himself Will the Thrill? Really? I didn't know that. Mackenzie is more about teachers' hidden talents. Hi, I'm Mackenzie from FLTV. It is already well known that many students here at Faith Lutheran are extremely talented. However, teachers are extremely talented as well. Teachers tell us what their hidden talents are. Everyone has some interesting talent that they possess. Teachers tell us what their hidden talents are. Any interesting talents? Uh, I don't know how interesting they are. I can I can cook. 
I can, uh, I can sing, and I have, um, I don't know, a great intuition to kind of just see how people are feeling and want to make them feel better. Uh, I don't know if it's hidden because obviously you knew about it, but uh, I dribble several basketballs at one time, juggle, spin basketballs, uh, a lot of tricks with, uh, with the basketball. Sometimes people find out they are good at something when they try it for the first time. How did teachers find out they had their talents? And how did you find out that you could do any of these talents? Well, uh, in cooking, you just kind of figure it out. In singing, you just kind of volunteer and, and people kind of tell you. And as far as having intuition about, you know, other people and their feelings, it's, it's really just, you know, caring. Uh, I found out after practicing for about 10 years straight, and uh, then I found out that I could do some pretty cool stuff, yeah. Nice. Now you'll look at your teachers in a completely new way. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Mackenzie. Now we know our teachers don't just teach. What are you doing, Riley? Nothing. Colin has more about cheating. Ready? Cheating. Although tempting, it can sometimes be serious. Let's go around asking students who cheats. Have you ever cheated before? No. 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 Honestly, no. Um, and I didn't, and, and not because I am that great, but because the thought of getting in trouble in middle school terrified me so much that I never, ever would have done it. Most students think cheating isn't a bad thing and think they could get away with it. Cheating has serious consequences. You can either get thrown out of class and suspended. In serious cases, you could get expelled for cheating. What do you think the consequences are of cheating? A suspension. Uh, probably a suspension. Well, the consequences of cheating are um, typically you're going to give up the points on that assignment, which depending on the assignment or the test can have a, a large impact on your grade. Uh, there's certainly a disciplinary side to it, um, kind of depending on the incident and how it came about, whether you're going to be facing a detention or a Saturday detention or honestly even a suspension for the lack of academic integrity. Um, and kind of the older you get, the higher the stakes become. Uh, and so certainly it's not a habit that we want the kids to be in. And, and I think it's important too to note that if you're a allowing someone to cheat off of you, there are the exact same consequences as if you're cheating off of someone else. There you have it. Don't cheat or else you'll be serving serious time. I'm Colin. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Colin. What do you think about the Whisper Challenge? I think it's a great natural way to have some good fun with your friends. Let's take it over to Nick to find out more. Hi, this is Nick from FLTV and today we will be conducting the Whisper Challenge. And we will be asking students to put on loud music, and we will be saying phrases and words, and they have to guess what we are saying. This game is not easy. Some are better at reading lips than others. It does not come naturally. Sometimes you might need to practice at this. What? The sky is falling. The sky is falling? The sky is falling? Vote for Trump. Look at all those chickens. Look at this street. Next one. Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father? Panda, panda, panda. <laughs> Close enough. All the way, all the way up Donald Trump. Donald Trump! Drop something. Apple? Guy, apple. Apple! Hunter. Hunter? Finn. Hillary. The whisper challenge is not that easy. When the music is all the way up, you cannot hear anything, making this very challenging. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Now back to you in the studio. Wow, great story, McKenna. Kobe Bryant, a professional basketball player, has recently retired after his 20th year as being a Los Angeles Laker. In his last season, he averaged 17.6 points per game, 2.8 assists, and 3.7 rebounds. Let's dribble it over to Kyle to find out more. Mamba out. Hi, I'm Kyle Jessica with FLTV. This year's going to be so sad for so many fans because some legends are retiring like Peyton Manning, Marshawn Lynch, and Kobe Bryant. Now let's go around school to find out what people would rank them and if they'll miss them. What legends do you know that are retiring this year? Uh, the only one I know is Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant and Peyton Manning.
Kobe Bryant. Do you know anybody else? No. What was the significance of their sport and how did they change the sport? Uh, all I know is that he played basketball. That's about it. Well, Kobe Bryant won five championships and dominated most of the early 2000s and Peyton Manning won two, three Super Bowls and was probably one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Well, um, he made shoes, basketball shoes, to enhance performance. Uh, I think maybe like a couple times, like once or twice, but I don't watch that much sports. Yeah, I watched Peyton Manning for the years he played for Denver. Yes. When? His last game where he scored 60 points. What would you rank them? Uh, he's probably one of the best that I've seen, even though I don't watch that much. I'd rank Kobe second and Peyton probably fourth on my list. One. Number one. That's it for this, this story. Now we know what people would rank their legends, or even if they are their legends, and even if they don't even know them, that's all right. Now let's take it back to the studio, signing off. Wow, I'm gonna miss Kobe in his next season. Well, that's it for today. I'm Riley. And I'm Brooke. And remember. You're watching FL TV. Stay holy. Stay fresh. Thanks, Maddie. Marcos, I know you can hear me. Marcos. <laughs>